Department of Psychiatry here at Brigham Women's Hospital is a center for learning, for patient care, for research, right at the interface of brain and mind. At Brigham Women's Hospital, psychiatry is medical psychiatry. We take a very medical approach to the field. We're very interested in the pathophysiology underlying psychiatric illness, medical illness, and the intersection of the two as well as the psychological and psychosocial factors that are involved when patients suffer both with a medical condition and with some sort of psychiatric disturbance. There's enormous breadth and depth to the medical psychiatry division within the hospital here at Brigham and Women's. We have enormous liaison interventions where many of our psychiatrists are intimately involved in the medical surgical specialty we have psychiatrists collaborating or physically in all 14 of our large primary care centers associated with Brigham and Women's Hospital. Research has demonstrated that integrating mental health care into medical and surgical care has enormous upside. There's very good data to show that if you are able to provide good collaborative care for both the mental health and medical health of patients, you will not only improve the quality of that care, patient and staff satisfaction, but there's actually good data to say that we're improving the costs of the system, which is really a critical issue today. The psychiatry department at the Brigham and Women's Hospital really is engaged in the full spectrum of research, and it goes all the way from very clinically oriented studies of patient populations, intervention trials for new treatments, all the way to more basic research. And we have a, several functional imaging groups who are really examining the relationship between depression and, and medical illness by studying the pathways in the brain that regulate emotion and the perception of symptoms. At Brigham and Women's Hospital, we have a state-of-the-art functional and molecular neuroimaging program. This includes a newly renovated MRI research center. Using methods such as functional MRI scanning, we're able to not only map out neural circuit abnormalities that underlie symptom formation in psychiatric diseases, but we can also start to examine mechanisms for treatment responses. An example of some of the very exciting, innovative types of work we're doing has to do with the study of psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, a disorder in which patients have seizure-like activity but have no abnormal electrical activity on their EEG. The collaboration between neurology and psychiatry is a particularly strong point of emphasis uh, here at Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'm currently in my sixth year of dual psychiatry neurology training. It's been a fantastic opportunity to think about patients at the interface of psychiatry and neurology and really blur those artificial lines to think comprehensively about patients with disturbances and symptoms that are behavioral, affective, and perceptual. The Center for Brain and Mind Medicine reflects the activity of both the departments of neurology and of psychiatry. It is an intensely multidisciplinary program. We aim to try to deeply understand our patients from multiple perspectives. We try to understand uh, patients who have impairments in memory and attention, executive functions, perception, language, emotions, and behavior. At the Brigham, we're taking a multidimensional biomarker approach and pairing that with targeted therapeutics and trials to be able to really offer new possibilities for patients who suffer with illness at the interface of medicine and psychiatry. Women's mental health is a central component of our activities and a cross-cutting component. What's particularly innovative about women's mental health services at Brigham and Women's is the embedded nature of the services. We take into account the full biopsychosocial complexity of patients and work very closely with obstetricians, pediatricians, and women's health internists to provide very comprehensive diagnostic evaluations and care. When a woman is pregnant and then giving birth, so many things about her body and her social context are changing all at once and all can affect her mental health. We in the Women's Mental Health Division work carefully and thoroughly to take into account all of these factors in bringing a woman to the best mental health she can have. The Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Brigham and Women's is an environment of very high stress 
The mental health of parents whose babies are in neonatal intensive care units can be really compromised by all of the stress. We have psychiatrists and social workers who work very directly with the parents and with the nursing staff in the neonatal intensive care unit to um, understand and disentangle all of these stresses and support women's mental health. At Brigham and Women's Hospital, the amount of energy and dedication that goes into taking care of patients, to understanding their illnesses, to advancing the options for them is remarkable. I feel fortunate to be able to share that with our trainees, with our faculty, uh, with the patients and families uh, who we take care of, and it makes one hopeful that with increasing translational science and large amount of compassion as well, we can alleviate suffering and try to advance the understanding around these conditions.